Oh guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended and directly after Ark banned me, they decided to release a new update. And that new update, as you can see right here, is a really cool one for Aberration. Now Aberration seems like it's still going to be on track. It's going to be released on September 4th from everything I'm tracking. And they've got, they're adding new creatures that we didn't anticipate them adding that are gonna add some new fun things to the game now that includes this guy and a few other updates that are kind of like hidden inside of this thing and i'll kind of walk through all of it real quick if you want to check it out if you don't mind smash that like button leave a comment below for that algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel that would be much appreciated but anyways let's go ahead and get started with it so you can see this is the actual dossier for the new tame if you want to think of it that way cosmo now, Cosmo is a spider that sits on top of your shoulder. It's basically a light pet, right? So it's got the ability to use light. It's got the ability to be used like a grapple hook, which is really cool because in Aberration, that's not normally a thing. And then you've got this guy right here, which means you can slow things down with web. So it's a really powerful thing because you can use it like a little web shooter. It will serve to save you from Reapers as well as anything like Nameless. So you definitely want to have one of these guys. It's basically an up graded if you want to think of it this way one of the four <clears throat> original light pets this is like the better version of all of them because it can do the light plus it can do this directional light see how it like lifts its back up and points light at that guy that's a huge thing so anyways let's go ahead and get started you can see we get close uh look at the sweet and uh, fluffy friend cosmo like i just talked about um huge club arc update but this is kind of more what i talk about i want to show you the actual dossier so in the wild you have to find it in the deep zones so it's not going to be an easy thing to tame from what i understand um and then the actual domestication of it you can see that it's really really powerful you can use it as a web shooter on your hand which is really cool um that is something that you definitely want to take advantage of the ability to use it as a web shooter is very very powerful now also you'll see in the kind of upper left corner of the dossier the light the grapple hook and the actual thing these are going to be basically just beefed up versions of um how do i say this it's a beefed up version of any light pet so there's not even a point in having another light pet because these guys will be better than all of them so that's a super huge thing because it's very difficult to play aberration it's arguably the most difficult map but because we're going to have access to things like this it'll make it quite a bit better now in the wild you can see that you can read this whole thing i just explained to you the entire process of all of it um the wild part right here you can see it's a jumping spider it looks very similar to something that someone made in a mod hint hint i don't know if they've they've you know paid the mod author for it but they made a literal jumping spider that looks identical to this and uh it, it does the same things from what I understand. Um, so that is the wild version. The domesticated version you can see super useful and it talks about all that stuff. Now, if you haven't seen this yet, the new club arc update. Now this thing is crazy. Now, there are four new games. Plus, they've added in a whole bunch of useful things. They've added in artifacts. They've added in wyverns. They've added repair kits. They've added a whole bunch of useful stuff. You can get tech suits. You can get tech saddles. And you used to be able to do that. But you can get all of that inside of Club Arc. Now, it is incredibly useful to play Club Arc because when people ban artifact caves or they prevent you from going in the artifact caves on official servers, you can jump over to Club Arc, get the artifacts that you need by playing the minigames, go back and actually complete boss runs. It is no longer a locked down by people that have more time than you. Club Arc is a huge win. And I know people aren't really, you know, talking about this because they're like, oh, why would I play mini games? A lot of people don't realize this. This is fun for most of us to be able to just go over here. It's also a safe place to trade things because you can upload things into your transmitter and trade whatever you want over here and agree upon the trade before it actually goes through. And it's a safe place because no one can actually get uh, DC'd. Like, you, I mean, there's no point in DDoSing someone from it. So, um, because you can't access someone else's body as soon as they disappear they just poof off the server which is brilliant right they should have had this from the start and then people wouldn't complain about it as much but giving us a middle zone that gives us access to different games and access to some of the things that people lock on servers is a huge win for arc now you can see wardrobe consumables repair item and a dino store so you can get a whole bunch of dinos as well as cryopods it's a fantastic early game strat to get a bunch of cryopods and other things like that super useful now you can get some really good ones i've gotten things up to level 200 in there i guess 190 um and uh 
Yeah, you can't complain. You can also get some of the flying bugs of death. There's a lot of really cool thing. This is a huge win, and uh, you should definitely take advantage of the Club Arc servers if you are playing on a server that offers up Club Arc, because it's a big, big win to be able to play this stuff. Now, if you're launching your own unofficial server, I would wait a day or two to let players do the normal struggle and then open up Club Arc, Club Arc so people can actually play. So definitely check it out. Now, next thing, Mod Spotlight. There's some always amazing Mod Spotlights. Architects Paradise, Archelon. If you haven't seen the Archelon, that is one of my favorite things. It's the Architicians Tames. And uh, yeah, so this is a super cool one. I have a feeling they're going to add these to the base game because, yeah, that's just kind of like where they're going. They're adding in all of those Tames themselves. Now you can see the live ob update. If you were, you could see this one, the expiring servers. If you were on one of those, you're going to basically lose the, all your progress on August 3rd. So you need to get off of those, but it gives people somewhere to actually start up safely. Um, so definitely take advantage of those if you get a chance to do that. Not that I'll be able to because I've been banned, but you know, that's a different story. If you haven't seen why, check out that video. It's kind of, maybe I'll make something an update version, but we'll see. Anyways. So these servers no longer exist. Now they're also doing the bonus servers. Basically every single weekend, this has always been a thing. They're going to do the 2X, 4.5X, and 5X for the Arc Apocalypse. And then you can see to celebrate athletes around the world, you can see that all of the special event creature colors are being introduced for the whole event. So up until August 12th, they are going to have those bonus creature colors from the 26th to the 12th. So that's pretty cool. Some of them are really cool. I've seen some really neat red ones that mix with like the Jade and the Dino Albino and then the blues and stuff like that they're really cool the peach is all right but some of the other colors man eh, they're all right but like these four in the middle right here these four or five are huge really like those and then you can see there's some community corner um some people kai on fire is awesome um, and then some really cool art i love looking through the art because a lot of this stuff is just something that you know people post and it, obviously this one's dinosuchus focused because they yeah they just released that creature so anyways all of that being said that is the big update that arc just released now some news that people are kind of forgetting and they're not really paying attention to arc 2 is actually being shown and is a playable thing at the upcoming game con that arc will be attending i think it's this month actually but arc 2 has a playable state game that people can go to the arc 2 booth and play the actual game of Ark, which is a huge win because that means that it is more likely to release sooner rather than later. A lot of people are getting really fed up and I cannot blame them from the Ark Survival Ascended what's going on with it because they don't have content. They're changing a lot of things. They seem to be, you know, modifying some of their rules and uh, Ark 2 is on the actual horizon. It's uh, it's something that I am looking forward to because it's hopefully a different game. Now, I say that because the Ark we know and love it's great, but it's really hard to play because at the end of the day, there is a lot of cheating on official servers, whether that's, you know, DOSing or uh, using aim bots or even the admin tribes, um, you know, banning people for raiding them. I don't know if you know that, that the whole thing was T tribe that that happened um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But this is a huge update that they're actually producing Arc 2. You've got some big names on it. Vin Diesel's technically the dude that's running it. So I'm, I'm stoked about that because uh, I mean, I guess he's he's a an advisor not the dude that's running it um, but there's some really cool stuff coming out so you should definitely check it out it arc survival ascended i will admit did not have a good release it has not done well um it is getting better aberration is my favorite map so i'm going to play the crap out of it and as long as you have the bob's tall tales which is a little bit you know money grabby uh it is it is worth it because they have a whole bunch of extra things that you can get for the game now, anyways, that is one of my favorite things. I enjoy doing this stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed this video um, and check out some of my other content. Yes, I did get banned on official. I know I built in a rat hole that I shouldn't have built in. Apparently it didn't do anything else and they banned me and all that stuff. And that's what they determined. If you want to see the whole story, check out that other video. But anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. And if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel. All right. Other than that, teach out.